Spacer lift or spring lift, what's the difference? So welcome back everybody to another two minute tech video. And it's been a long time since we've done one of these. So somebody put two minutes down here on the clock and let's get started. So spacer lift, spring lift, what's the differences? Well, one of the first things anybody's gonna notice is that the spacer lifts are typically a lot less expensive. Why? Well, a spacer lift is just a spacer. It's just a spacer. There's not a lot to them. They're easy to do. A spring lift. Well, first off, just the springs alone, you have a lot of engineering, material, and manufacturing that goes into these. Then with the spring lift, you often get extra brackets, geometry brackets, arms, so maybe some steering components, things like that. And so the kit alone is going to be a lot more expensive. Now, what's the other big difference between the two of them? And that's gonna be performance. That's right, with this spacer, all we're doing is we're lifting. It's just a spacer. We're lifting the suspension or lifting the chassis that you have now higher by putting the space between the spring and the chassis. Now, with a spring lift, because we're replacing so many more components, brand new springs, a heavier spring or a heavier spring rate spring, and usually a better shock, all these other brackets, some of them geometry, some of them to help fix geometry, maybe is what I should say, and you're gonna get a better performing suspension. Now, does that mean that a spacer lift is no good? Not at all. There's a time and place for spacer lifts. One of the first things is because of their price, the spacer lift is a great entry level lift. They're also really great to level a vehicle. Let's say you have one end sitting low and you need to bring it up a little bit. Spacers are great. The nice thing about a spacer is it's a fixed height. This particular spacer is a one inch spacer from Terraflex for a JK. We know that we can stick that in a JK and it's gonna lift it one inch. So it's a great thing to add here and there to level out a vehicle. Or if you need just a little bit more lift than the spring lift that you've already installed. Now with the spring, you're always gonna get better performance. Why? Well, first off, the spring is taller. It's gonna compress and extend more. So you're gonna get better performance there. Second is that the spring manufacturers add some spring rate to this. So instead of just being a stock factory spring rate, they're gonna make this spring taller and they're gonna add more spring rate because your vehicle now sits higher. So we want a little bit more spring rate to help combat the extra body roll. And the manufacturers already know that you're not gonna stop at the lift. You wanna put bumpers on and sliders on and other things in the vehicle. So they're gonna add a little bit more spring rate to help compensate for the extra weight. Some manufacturers like the Old Man Emu line from ARB, they actually make multiple different springs for different vehicles. So you might see a light, a medium, and a heavy duty spring, depending on whether you're just a completely stripped down rig that's only lifted or whether you've got something, the rooftop tent, onboard freezer fridge, and a bunch of other gear in the back. So it's gonna be a lot heavier and needs a stiffer spring rate. Now, we talked about the fixed spacer height. These are great because it gives you a fixed height. With the spring, because we have different weights available, we also have different heights available, and depending on your Jeep, it may not give you that exact three inch lift you were looking at or two and a half inch lift. Maybe you might get three inches out of a two and a half inch lift. Why? Because your factory springs are all sagged out, worn out, and they're not giving you proper lift to begin with. So if you're sitting an inch or if you're sitting a half of an inch low to begin with, you put a two and a half inch spring in there, you might find you end up with three inches. Or if you have a very stripped down vehicle, convertible top, and it's got uh, half doors and there's not a lot of gear on there, you might throw a two and a half inch spring in there and find that you get three inches of lift just because your vehicle's lighter. So do your homework, figure out what spring works the best. And of course, if you have questions, we're, we here at Northridge 4x4 are always happy to help out. So did I hit it good? What do you think? Spring lift versus spacer lift? Did I leave anything out? What do you have? Do you have a spacer lift? Do you have a spring lift? or what, which one do you want? Leave that in the comments down below, let us know. 
And then while you're down there, check out the description box for more information on spacer lifts and spring lifts from Northridge 4x4. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button if you're not done already, or if you're not subscribed already. And until next time, thanks Northridge Nation.